ahead of his attempt to build off the Buffalo Bills 2020 run to the AFC Championship, Josh Allen has cashed in with a reported six-year, $258 million payday, which makes him the NFL's second-highest paid quarterback, only behind Patrick Mahomes. Now, all eyes are on Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield, which are two of the 2018 first-round QBs that remain eligible for contract extensions. As the Ravens prepare for the regular season, they've been doing so without their franchise quarterback in Lamar Jackson. Jackson tested positive for COVID-19 in late July. Per the league's protocols, he had to be absent for at least 10 days. Today, Lamar has been officially activated off the COVID-19 list, which puts him on track to practice for the Baltimore Ravens in training camp Saturday. This marked the second time in eight months that Jackson tested positive for coronavirus. On Tuesday, the Maryland governor urged Jackson to get vaccinated. Now, it would be safe to say that Jackson should benefit much more than Baker Mayfield from the news of Josh Allen's new contract. Forecasters say there's a good chance that he will either match or clear Allen's $43 million per year payout. After the Cowboys' Dak Prescott inked a deal paying $40 million per year earlier this offseason, Josh Allen was immediately due to clear $40 million per year in his own extension. Now, when you forecast extensions for both Baker Mayfield and Lamar Jackson, only one of the quarterbacks fall in the same echelon as Josh Allen, and that's Lamar. Everything indicates that Lamar, not Baker, is set to cash in as a top five QB in terms of new money. Lamar is younger than Baker, being 24 and Baker being 26. Lamar has a more victorious record at 30 and 7 versus Baker's 23 and 22. And most obviously, Lamar's a more electrifying pure talent. Now, with Allen clearing 40 million per year and approaching Patrick Mahomes' 45 million per year average, it makes it a near certainty that Jackson will or should hold out for at least $43 million a season. Now, Lamar may not top Josh Allen's $258 million total, but his athleticism has always made him likely to earn as much, if not more, than Allen did. Allen may be the superior passer, but Jackson is the NFL's closest thing to Mahomes in terms of his physical gifts, and he and the Baltimore Ravens know it. Upon researching what Lamar Jackson's contract may look like, he's poised to get a four-year, around $180 million contract with about $135 million guaranteed. Jackson has remained remarkably healthy during his NFL career, but his playing style does leave him at higher risk of injury. Because of this, a six-year extension is probably out of the question. Now let's remember, at only 24 years old, Jackson is one of the NFL's elite talents. He is one of the most electrifying stars the NFL has seen in decades and the centerpiece of the entire Ravens offense. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about Josh Allen's new deal and what you think Lamar might get. With that said, like, subscribe, and follow the notifications. Until the next upload, we'll see you then.